now one of the best views you'll find in all of baseball. Downtown Pittsburgh in PNC Park. Tonight it's the first of four between the Cincinnati Reds and the Pittsburgh Pirates. These two should provide some big time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Hey, let it fly up there, huh? Joe Biggs is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Eric, we look at this Pirate ball club as they enter play here tonight. They're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. And they've gotten that overall record back to 500 with their most recent win, but they've got a ways to go before they're back in this thing. So they'll need to keep it going right here. Hey, get your pitch up there. Come on now. And able to lay off the fastball away here. Two and one now. Starting to get a bit chilly here tonight. 57 degrees at game time. Aye. Fastball is looked at for strike two. And you know what? These days, so many Come guys on, are throwing guy. in the high 90s. It makes those mid to low 90s guys look easy. But I'll tell you what. If he mixes his pitches well, it can still be plenty fast to have to deal with. Dwayne Hutton gets a shot now with deuces all around. Two on, two out here in inning number two. Hit to short. Scooped up. Throw on to first oh. is in time, and that snuffs out the buck. Joe Biggs will dig in Come for on, a yeah, second like time. A right right strikeout right victim time, opening up the ball game. And they sent him packing on a breaking ball, too. And if it's me, I come right back with it. Chop foul at the plate. Strike one. Come on, big guy. One time. Here you go. That misses that wide. Time. One Here ball and time. one strike. And you know, all you have to do is point back to yesterday's ball game. This was part of their downfall, hitting with runners in scoring position. They just couldn't sustain any kind of offense. So this would be a big boost if he could turn the tide a little bit here and come through big. Has to be thinking strikeout here. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Gregory Polanco is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Now the 0-2 pitch. Hit hard to short. On to first and very quickly two are gone here in the home third. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in. He drew base on balls his first time. Grounded to short. Gets dirty and gloves it. He's up with it. The throw. It's in time. Woo, no problem. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stop at short. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. Joe Biggs will stand in now. A punch out victim twice already. EK, I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, it wasn't working. But I think if you start Come worrying on, too much about Shit, trying to seven. avoid the hat trick or, or worse, it'll start becoming a mind game and you'll start falling into some pretty bad habits. Here you go, baby. Find a good pitch. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. Joe Biggs comes to the plate, and he'll start us off in the eighth. And so far in this ballgame, he hasn't even been on base yet, so we'll see if he can make an adjustment here. Runs up and gets this one down. Gong comes up with it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Hey, plays it one now. Hit on the ground is short. To his right, Biggs. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. So they can't get that winning. 
stepping in and ready for another shot. Joe Higgs, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Decent numbers, but nothing amazing from the left side of the plate so far this season. Oh, Trevelli scoops it up. And one time right now, kid. Here we go. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Two out, nobody on. Hit hard, but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. Hey, get your pitch right here. Come on now. The 0-2 delivery. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Here we go. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. All right, come on now, one time, let her fly. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Chop foul with the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Turned on down the line. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. one ball, oh, and he strike. dusted yeah, him off the plate that yeah. time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Well, that might be his way of saying, look, enough of the foul balls on, already. Come on, come on, come on, a come on, barehanded come on, play by Harrison. Got him. Oh, what a play. Nothing doing here. This Not a lot of offense in this ball game, but what offense was provided came primarily from this guy, our top player of the game. Yeah, you see a couple of hits for him in the ball game. This one was tight throughout, but in the end, he really helped lead his guys to this victory. And welcome to the home of the Buckos since 2001, PNC Park in Pittsburgh. Today, game three of this. Joe Biggs. Steps in looking to get it going offensively. Things have not been going his way of late. All right, come on now. One time. Liriano sets. First pitch on the way. Already pitching from a deficit here as he fires this one by him for strike one. Eric, we take a look at the Pirates as they take the field here this afternoon. They come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. And they've been as hot as anybody in the league recently. So... All they need to do is keep playing the way they've been playing, and you have to say, they stack up with anybody in baseball. Hit and here's a pitch first. inside, and that got him. i tell you what, any time you get a first-inning visit from your Second pitching baseman. coach, right something ain't coach. working out there. You know, here's what he's... He strike this guy out. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in, back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. And they'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. Jason Rogers will get his first opportunity here, and that average is certainly not where he wants it, down in the 220s to begin the ball game. Grounded back up the middle. He'll go to the bag for one. On Devato, a double play. And with that... Joe Biggs will lead it off here for the Reds, followed by Brandon Phillips waiting his turn on deck. And they jumped out to that early lead, so now it's all about just adding on. Boy, and good pop to the fastball there from Liriano, strike one. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. It looked like he was giving him the evil eye down there, and I can't say I blame him. Yeah, well, he's already been plunked once, and I don't think he's going to stand for too much more of that. Polanco moves over, and that's the first out of the inning. Joe Biggs will lead it off here for the Reds, followed by Brandon Reds. Phillips waiting his turn on deck. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Runs up and gets this one down. Throw will not be oh, in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead off. The Into the box, Jason oh, yeah, Rogers. He flew out in his last at bat. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. Right there. 
Russo striding in. Gregory Polanco as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three. It's a double play and the inning is over. Joe Figs steps in, working on a one for two game so far. Into the seats, 0 and 1. <laughs> Looking to keep this a one run game. Oh, two, Chased a down. low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. Now he's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. Curveball, but he can't get two. him to chase it one and two. And even on one and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking here. You've got to put this ball in play. Ball inside. To two balls and two strikes now. Where do you go from here? Hey, I think he's set up for something off speed. There, if you can put that change up below his knees, you won't come within a foot of it. And okay. this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. And you got a guy up there trying to give you an out. And the last thing you want to do is walk him to put him on base for free. Payoff pitch on its way. Down the third baseline. Gung's got fly, it. Fly, fly. And he'll save a throw and get the force at third himself. Jason Rogers digs in, coming off a single in his last at bat. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. On the ground is short. This could be two. Phillips for one. On to Votto, a double play, and that ends the inning. One hits all they get. Nine. Joe Biggs stands in. He'll try to improve in this at bat after grounding into a fielder's choice his last time up. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2-0. When oh, you're down by that, six man. on the mound, you've got to at least throw strikes here. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Polanco has a beat on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Hey, no outs now. Here we go. Chop weakly to the left. A bare-handed pickup. No, Safe. He's in there. Oh man, that would have been awesome. Almost got him after the great stop, but it's a base hit and the leadoff man's on to start the inning. And guys, the Reds' offensive attack this afternoon was led by this man, Jay Bruce. Don't put that card in your bicycle.